morning everybody and a very warm welcome to Ringwood South and today I'm going to be doing a little series on um, the introduction to the Hornby Railmaster system in conjunction to the Elite because the Elite is meant to work seamlessly with the Hornby Railmaster and I am a beginner and so I wanted to do a guide basically as I'm going along um, because I've never used this software before and I just wanted to show my sort of views on it and experiences because I've already before I've even started actually um, I've already come across some things that need to be sort of addressed and pointed out so I just thought I would um, share this with you and see what you guys think and just to make you aware of it because some of these things may put you off or it may just sort of encourage you but it's just things that I think that need to be addressed and make you aware of. So here we are at the um, Hornby Elite and as you'll notice um, it's not plugged in at all um, because I'm not actually using it as such. Um, I just wanted to show you the back of it. Now, one of the when I was doing one of my live streams, I did make the remark that I was trying to um, film and I was trying to control trains, and I was finding it quite difficult um, controlling doing both at the same time because of the um, mobility of the um, elite. One of the issues with the elite for many people. Um, it's just its mobility more than anything because you've got to have everything connected to it. So that's where the main track goes. That's the programming track. And then you've got the USB ports which you'll need to connect up to the Railmaster. And then you've got the boost if you need one and an auxiliary. So somebody suggested that I checked out the Hornby Railmaster app and check out the actual um, software for it. So I decided that um, I was going to have a look into it because apparently you can then run it off your iPad. So if I put this down a second, this is my iPad and this is the Hornby Railmaster app. Now, the first thing to note with this is that um, it doesn't actually work with um, Sorry, without having to buy the DVD or an e-link and the software for it. So you can't just download it from Google Play or from Apple. Um, you actually have to have um, the actual software because that needs to connect. The iPad needs to connect, obviously, with the computer and the Wi-Fi and the Elite in order to be able to run the trains. But as I found... Um, there's some hidden pros and cons to this thing so you can just see um, the basic layout and the format this isn't my track plan not by any stretch of the imagination this is like the sample track plan that you get and this is the sample um, controls that you get for controlling the train so you can sort of swipe up and swipe down and that controls the train moving forward and backwards that's the shunt and cruise forward now here you only have six sound functions and again we'll get onto that um, shortly so bear with me and I'm going to take you to my computer so let's have a quick word on the installation of the Hornby Railmaster um, I got this off of eBay and you basically get CD-ROM and you get um, or a DVD ROM, whatever you want to call it, CD ROM, and the Hornby Railmaster guide for the installation. And behind that is an activation label for you to go onto Hornby's website to activate the software. So basically, it's a key. They give you a code, and then you put the code in, and then you activate the software. However, it isn't as simple as that, as I found out with Hornby. This is eBay currently at the moment and um, this is a number of copies of people selling various copies of the Hornby Railmaster Elite software and mine is this one here which I paid £12.99 for but you can see 
that that says it's R1844. That says it's R1844, and yet they're charging 61.99 for that. I've paid 12.99 for that. So the prices really, really do vary. And what I found out recently, and obviously as you go up, um, you can get some with with the e-link itself, and obviously the prices get bumped up once you start if you want to buy it with the e-link itself. But this is the one I bought. I literally just bought that on its own because I already had the controller. Now, obviously it's important to note that it's the one for the Elite controller and there is a difference obviously between the E-Link and the Elite controller so make sure you get the right software. And um, so this is the one I got. So I bought it and that's what I received. That was, that was it. And then I went to download it. Now, as you can see, my icons are quite small, and they were bigger before. But unfortunately, um, with Hornby, it's like when I downloaded, well, when I installed the software, it actually came up with a pop-up box saying that my display settings were incorrect, and for the software, and it may have an effect on the software itself. But I thought nothing of it, and basically, um, I load, I switched on the app, the Railmaster, and when I went to try and activate the key, it wouldn't activate the key, um, and it just wouldn't do it. And I just thought, oh well, maybe I've got a dud copy, or maybe this is a, a used copy, or something. Somebody's already used the key. As it turns out. Um, it says that you need to have your dis and it's still to do the display settings, but they don't tell you that. So this is why I'm mentioning it. If you do have this issue when you install it, it says you have to go to display settings on your computer, and it says that you need to change the display settings to a hundred percent, which um, which I did. I think it was either display or personalized. I can't remember. It does say it on there. Um, it was display. It says to go into display settings, and it says to change it to 100%, which is what I did. I mean, I know it says mine says 175, but I did change it. And what that does is it basically reduces all the text and reduces all the apps, so that the um, Railmaster software can actually run in its correct settings and correct manner, and when I did that and redone the key, um, it activated the key. So if we now go to the Hornby Railmaster itself, it's going to just do its thing. I think. Why I didn't do it? Oh yeah, that's because, sorry, my apologies for that. Right, let's start that again so you can see it. Right, what it was is I had it minimised. So that's it for now. Like what I'm going to do is, I'll shut it down, we'll start it again. So you click on that, and you go to yes. And then it will start to boot up. So it's just checking for updates. And it says there's a problem occurred because I haven't connected a controller, which is true. I haven't actually connected the controller yet at all. I haven't connected the Elite at all to this or synced it to this at all, which is why it's having its issues. So anyway, you get this sample track plan, and this is how the basic format is. And, and this is telling me that my um, iPad is... Um, trying to connect to the Railmaster but one of the things that I found out is that I pay twelve ninety nine for the for the actual software and as you saw on eBay you can buy it for like sixty one or sixty two pounds 
and some E3 even 70 but it will only get you this bit and I found that there's some hidden costs involved in this which to make you aware of so if you wanted to add your iPhone or add your iPad you have to pay £10.99 sorry 9 99 to activate it so as you can see it says the device is attempted to connect not activated for this Rail Master service server so although I've put the key in and the actual main software is fully activated and I can got the full features um, well I say the full features and we'll get onto that in a minute um, in order to connect this to your iPad you don't have to pay a further 9.99 per device so it can become quite costly and I think it is per device I'm not 100% sure but I think it is but even so you still got to pay at least another 9.99 if you want it to connect to your iPad or your iPhone. So we've paid $12.99, we've now added another 10, so that's $22.99 so far. I'll just switch this off. So anyway, um, this is the full version, or at least this is the full um, Railmaster version, not the Pro, and we'll get into that. And here you get to design your track plan and um, you can just put there's a piece there and you just drag it across and then basically you make your own track plan now if I go down here to this box I'd already created my own one which is down here and hopefully it's still here so this is basically a rough version of Ringwood South I was playing about with this last night now the problem with this is it's not it's not correct because this isn't the pro version and this is the another thing in order to get to pro version you don't have to spend another 29.99 on getting the pro version so we've now gone from 12.99 to 22.99 and then you add another 30 quid so it's about 52 53 quid because basically um, some of the point work some of the points as you can see here that you get with the full realm with, with this realm master edition the standard realm master edition I should say you don't get the full points and you can't just rotate them that's the thing this is how they're set so you can't rotate it to make them fit so I've got points that kind of run off of this main main line that goes across that goes from here. It doesn't come down here. It goes and joins to here. But there isn't a point on the actual um, software here that will link that to that. So you have to do it this way. So it's not specifically correct. It's correct to a fashion as correct as I can get it. So that means in order for me to create the exact track plan um, that I have on Ringwood South on here, I would have to spend another £30 to get the Pro Edition, to get the additional um, track features and other further improvements like voice control and everything. That's another thing, voice control doesn't come with normal Railmaster. So... I'm kind of like, am I going to invest any more in this or not? So I'm not entirely certain yet. Um, I'm sort of tempted and I'm not. At the same time, I'm not sure how this is going to go or whether it's worth it. But these are things for you to bear in mind. So it's not just a simple case. I mean, obviously, if you look on eBay and you see the same software for 60 quid, you know, or 65 quid, and it's just normal software, then you might as well get the cheap one and then buy the extras and then you'd have the full whack that you want with the iPad compatibility and with the with the um, Pro version. So these are things to sort of bear in mind. It isn't just a case of just paying the twelve ninety nine, and it's just, you know, it's a bit kind of... Mm. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm sure once it all works and it's all set up, I think it'll, it'll run really, really well, I, I, I think. But at the moment, the jury's still out with me on this because... It's all these little hidden costs that you... Oh, if you want this, you've got to pay extra for that. 
oh you wanted that oh well that's going to cost you extra too so it's it's kind of a bit like that i mean i'd rather have just paid and they said oh look it was 60 quid all in there's not any more or 50 quid all in there's no more hidden features than sort of going oh well if you want this you can pay this and then so anyway that's kind of my sort of like little introduction to it i'm not really sure if i'm going to carry on with this because the whole point was i originally said i wanted the more hands-on approach and I quite like the idea of turning the dials and pressing the buttons. And to be honest with you, um, this kind of thing, I'm not sure how responsive it's going to be or how sensitive it's going to be. And the fact that you only get six functions on the sound, but because this is an evaluation copy, I'm not sure whether or not the pro version will be... Um, will be have a full functionality on the sounds i'm not sure but anyway these are all things to sort of bear in mind if you're thinking of getting one of these um, i'm sure it's probably good for a good home loft layout where if you've got a big circuit layout it's probably quite good but i'm not sure how well it's going to work in terms of an end-to-end -end layout but it has got some useful features in it that you can program your trains to run and record them so you don't have to so i think that's quite a good thing but like I said, I'm, again, I'm not sure whether that comes as part of the pro. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to leave it there. And if I decide to go through with this, then I'll sort of give you a bit more of an update on it. But I'm not sure how much further I'm going to go. Because I might just persist with just the Hornby Elite on its own. Because, like I said, I do prefer the more hands-on approach to it. So anyway, so take care and I'll speak to you soon. And bye for now.